Brooks from the 18. Brady blocks Devin Hester into the open field. And Hester picks up another block. Devin Hester, the putter to beat. He beat him. Devin Hester all the way. Touchdown, Chicago Bears. Yet Grossman found himself watching victory dances as the clock ran down. Which can be done through the camera lens. And I don't understand any of this stuff. But all I know is that this is officially now tracked at 108.4. It sounds like some easy listening on your FM dial, but 108.4 yards for Hester there. Goes into the books as a 108-yard run back, tying the mark set by his teammate Vasher. 108 yards on a missed field goal ties for the longest touchdown in NFL history. Take one more look at Hester. Of course, the player from the U, he's got those great jets. But here, I, it, it seems like this is the key. He sort of gives him the okie doke and now all he needs, he points out a block, Charles Tillman, Sean O'Hara. Get big number 60. And once O'Hara's on his keister, there's nobody left. Giants sort of fell asleep on Hester. He makes them pay. It was a close game. And both teams were scrapping to get points. And um, it felt like they had a great chance of making a field goal. Unfortunately, the wind was going, and it, it gave me a chance to get my hands on the ball. And for my teammates, he set up a great block, which allowed me to get in his own. It's a great chance of making the Hall of Fame. He said, I made it last year with it. He said, hopefully they can put both of us out there on the same, on the same. His fourth of the season. Just look at the patience to get the ball, well, and that, then he sees four around him. Yeah, that, Trey. And then you know what? You never follow your own player, and that's what the Vikings did. And David Hester said, if you're going to do that, then I'm going to make you pay. On the Rams one yard line. Now it's on the Bears one yard line. Bulger, Torrey Holt, touchdown. They beat Devin Hester, QB receiver. Discuss the play. Did you see who it was, homie? I said, did you see? That was, that was Hester. Yeah, no, that, that was Hester, 23, the rookie. As soon as I seen that, I knew he was going to react. I mean, I knew he was going to react. Oh, so they took advantage of the unsuspecting rookie. That's not nice. They botched the snap, though, so they only get six points out of the deal. And then Hester says, Remember me? Yeah, I'm the rookie. Well, my coaches told me the Rams sort of over-pursue on the wedge and look for the cutback. Uh, they were over-pursuing. He was cutting in Hester. Fifth return for a TD this season. Ties the NFL record. Seven, six bears after the PAT. That one covered 94 yards. 20 TD passes in the season since 95. And then the Rams foolishly scored. And then they kicked off. And there goes Hester again. And he's running like people are chasing him. I don't know if this is one of those wedge problems or not. I just know Hester now has set the NFL record. His sixth return of the year, 96 yards. The Bears win it 42-27. Look at Lovey. Greasy Grossman. It's a great feeling. I mean, in a tough situation like that, we knew the Rams were going to come out and play a good game. And uh, we're just looking for big plays and little, little nicks in there for us um, trying to come out on top. And so having special teams stepped up this week and performed like we are supposed to and came out the victory. This is unbelievable. He's got six on the year. He had two tonight. He's devastating. He's, he's like some sort of rocket ship when he gets his hands on the ball. You think he's pinned in, and look, he's not pinned in at all. I, it, it changes the game. I'm sure there are rookies with more yardage receiving and more yardage on the ground and more sacks and this, that, and the other thing. Who's had the impact on the league that Devin Hester has had? Here he, here he scores, and there's Lovey. Lovey's in tears of joy <laughs> embracing this kid. Sanders' style eventually earned him the nickname anytime, and in time he caught the eye of primetime. Sanders the Seminole, reaching out to mentor Hester while he was at Miami and now as an NFL rookie. It's going to be a touchdown, Florida State, Deion Sanders. I saw a lot of intangibles that we share. He has timing. You can't teach timing. Streaks across the 30. He might be gone. You can't teach uh, the burst. Forget it. It's going to be a touchdown. They say he runs a 4-2-4-3, but he, he, he has this next man speed. Whatever, if the man is next to him and running the 4-1, he'll run a 4-flat. I mean, he's like that. Well, it seems any time has become almost every time. Here's a look at the historical half dozen. Hester has returned this season, week one against the Packers. Punt return, 84 yards. Bears win 26 0. Week six against the Cardinals, 83 yard punt return for a touchdown. The Bears overcome a 20 point deficit. Uh, besides Dion, childhood hero, He Man. Week 10 versus the Giants. Well, the jersey from this one hanging in the Hall of Fame in Canton as he ties NFL record with a 108-yard return. That off a missed field goal. Week 13, Vikings. Well, this is this is just a shorty. 45-yard punt return. 
problem is all the guys in the purple pants had a shot. Nobody got it. Bears won that one 23-13. Monday, getting beat by Torrey Holden on a touchdown. 94 yards to the house on the ensuing kickoff. That was his first kickoff return this season. Sets the record with five return TDs. But wait, there's more. 96 yards more. Sixth guy with two in the same game. Kickoff returns. Devin Hester, all good. Mike Torino, oh, our booth crew, all believers. And again, they've got their home run hitter waiting for it. Devin Hester. Hester able to stay in bounds. Penalty flag is on the field as Hester goes down the sideline. A flag is down. Hester is in for the touchdown. But a flag is down back inside the Chicago 40. Run as he trots in. Seventh TD return of his career. And he gets a block, too, which always helps. Yeah. Hey, by you the way, get excited about job, blocking right? for a guy like that on special teams. He had another one turn called back, yeah. by the way. So, Bears going to win this one. 20. Anticipation builds with Hester to return this punt for Dustin Cole. Quick punts out of his own end zone. High on the air, but now a lot of hang time to the 49 of the Chiefs. Dancing inside 40. Like a streak to the 30. To the 20 level. He's brought down to the 19 of Kansas City. Hester going to return it from his five. Starts up field at 10, running right to the 15, 20, 30, right, 35 to the 40. Oh, he's gone. 40, 30, sideline, right side, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, but a marker. Penalty flag. Okay, that, that idea is not going to work. Uh, next this idea is yeah, yeah. good. Next, uh, we've heard it before from Drew Rosenhaus. I think. I used that. Here's the good news. They still have Devin Hester, Mark, and he is a special player. Why not? One more time from the three, and they're not going to get him. You ought to keep your eye on this kid. I think he might make something of himself in this return game. I just have a hunch. Has some potential? Yeah, he's got potential. That put him up 20 to 17, the second of the season. And look at the lane he sees. And not only the lane, man, he's got great vision, but you know what? I love about this kid, he attacks it. He's one cut down the hill, attacks it, sees it, breaks it off, and you see everybody chasing down there because they know what a special guy they have behind him. Everybody's excited. Well, here's what I can't figure out. Okay, Devin Hester, technically not an offensive player. Eighth touchdown on Sunday, all of them via return. He scored more touchdowns over the last two seasons than anyone on the Bears' current roster, and technically, he's not a member of the offense. This would be a good time for him to run it back. It's just not worth the risk. Don't kick it to him. And he's going to boom this one to the left of Devin Hester, who retreats to his tap. And he catches it like Willie Mays over his shoulder. Now he heads to the middle of the field. He's in trouble. But he made a rebound. And a minute later, Devin Hester had his second touchdown of the game. Going for Hester, over the shoulder, 30, 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Okay. And the Bears are an extra point. When you, if, if you don't, if you kick the ball at Hester, you're not. Well, they did it one time, yeah, watch and out. they paid watch for it. Watch out. They watch paid out. for it. All right? And this one, he returns all the way to the 20. Uh, you know what? There are certain unanswerable questions in life. You know, how did it all begin? What happens when we die? Why does anyone ever kick to Devin Hester? This well, is why. Because this could happen every yes. once in a while. All well, of a sudden, bounces. he can't fill the kick. Yeah. Now we got great coverage. But the odds of that happening all the punt. You don't punt to him, but you have to kick to him once in a while. I guess, I guess you do. They oh, tried that in the Super Bowl last year. It didn't work for the Colts either. <laughs> 88 yards for the touchdown. He ties the game at 20. His 10th career kick return. Fourth all time. Again, you give the guy all sorts of options right in the middle of the field. Boy, he gets good blocking. Take a look at that. I think right there, a Bronco might, might have gotten a finger on an ankle other than that. As we go inside the numbers on how insanely good Devin Hester has been, this is the thing. He's played 27 career games. He has 10 punt and kick returns. He's only three behind the all-time leader, Brian Mitchell, who played almost 200 more games to get those three more returns. Are you oh, kidding me? That's what oh you call God. it. Unless he over. goes into a slump, I think he'll break the record. <laughs> He's got a really good shot. And by the way, that wasn't even the most interesting thing that happened in this game. Broncos lead is now seven. 
And now on a punt, look at this. They dropped four guys off the line of scrimmage to be a wedge for Devin Hester on a punt return. Never seen. Never seen. Anytime a guy returns two kicks, obviously you look back and say that wasn't a very good decision. I just thought early in the game, I thought we, we knew what we had to do. And like I said, if you don't have a, maybe a kickoff that's quite long enough or a punt that doesn't hang up in the air and you give him a ball uh, early enough, uh, he's going to go the distance because he's that talented. What else can you say? Uh, you know, kickoff, punt, uh, and was just a big factor throughout the game. Uh, gave us a boost, uh, you know, turn momentum. We could talk the rest of the night about him. Just, uh, you know, I'm just glad he's on our football team. Very efficient. Second quarter, same 7 0 score, and Devin Hester being used as receiver. He's deep on everybody. It's a tap. Oh, he dropped the ball. You know, had to make a slight adjustment on it and actually didn't get his body around enough. And they made lots of mental that mistakes. That no, was a factor. Including kicking it to Devin Hester, but the Bears also threw it to Devin Hester. He can outrun everybody. And I'll tell you what, the offseason, they will work on him at wide receiver. He can add a he huge deal. 25. To say Devin Hester has an impact on the game would be sort of understating it. Yeah. Only three players in NFL history. But look at that. Punt and kickoff returns for touchdowns. 32 games. That's the difference, okay? Look at the number of games for Devin Hester on this list as opposed to everybody else. You want to talk about shattering a record? He'll, like, implode this record. The pieces will be so small when this record is broken, you'll need some sort of slingshot micrometer to even see them. By the way, that's a <laughs> wow. technical. So it's not going to be bad. So we went off the board. Merrill, who did you like? For your Devin Hester, before? who solidified he is the best kick returner in the history of football in just over 30 games. He has much more on hand. Yeah, he's been great. I think when Devin Hester is in there, that's when they're going to use his speed and try and get deep. And he would rather have Lito Shepard in there rather than Sheldon Brown mm -hmm. because of his speed. Although that one, that was a perfect pass. Yeah, catch the ball. just went right through his hands. And Work here out of Cincinnati. Third and nine. Orton going for the end zone. It's Hester. Is he inbounds? Yes. Touchdown. Hester beats Asante Samuel and just does stay inbounds for the touchdown on a third and nine. That is a heck of a throw. Here's Hester and Samuel outside. Hester just takes a little outside release, and Kyle Wharton makes a perfect pass. He throws it where only Hester can catch it. Option out of the backfield, beat the linebacker. Touchdown. There's Touchdown. a 10 nothing. Then Devin Hester now becoming a receiver, Trent Dilfer. He, he is. He, they're really starting. Really nice drive here by Kyle Wharton, Trent. Really nice drive. 7 of 11, 71 yards. A great touchdown to basically win. 80 yards shy now of 1,000 yards this season. Second round pick out of Tulane on second and seven. That pass is caught by Hester. And Hester is.